Good day to one and all. Welcome to HIMT YouTube channel. In today's lecture, let me deal about the beauty of mathematics. In this connection, few topics I wish to cover. Importance of mathematics, arithmophobia, use of mathematics in the universe, maths around us, how to make maths interesting, maths in real life, and let me give you a few riddles which you can solve and post your comments. Okay. To start with, importance of mathematics. Many will feel that max means to solve problems. And you know very well, problems means everybody will be going away from that. But solving or getting a solution for any problem will give a lot of, what to say, a lot of uh, happiness in our life also. To build things, to overcome obstacles we will be facing in our life. And most important aspect is to plan our finances. As we all know in this world, how difficult it is to plan the finances which we will be facing in our daily life when we start earning. Right. First and foremost, arithmophobia. You all know the word meaning of phobia. Mathematics will give everybody fright. It's phobia. It is a phobia which is known as arithmophobia or mathophobia. Is it because of a teacher who lacks the skill to teach this subject? I don't think so. Most of the time, I will say it is because of a teacher who doesn't know how to teach this magical subject, which will lead to this phobia among kids or anybody in this world. Right. Let us cancel the word phobia. What is the highest common factor which leads to mathophobia? I will say from the very beginning, we have been taught by our parents that maths is a difficult subject unless we practice daily or unless we spend some two or three hours, especially for mathematics, it's not going to be that easy. And uh, practice makes everyone perfect. Right. Do you think that it is very easy to memorize formulas? Or uh, I will say memorizing anything will not going to do help to anybody on any stage unless we understand the concept behind it. It is difficult to solve the problems. And also the word max itself definitely stresses our brains. Right. The learner should be taught from the beginning how the subject can be used in the real world by giving real world problems which will make the subject very interesting. So that I will say the learners may be interested in specific area. So we can concentrate on those areas by explaining in that area how max will be used. We all know at the time of matriculation itself, which we will say the turning point of anybody's life, parents can be seen outside board examination centers, especially when it is a mathematics paper. And uh, mostly the parents will be more tense than the students. They will ask the student whether uh, you have checked everything, have you cross-checked the answers, or uh, have you written the answers to cross-check now, all kinds of questions they will ask. Right. Next. This makes everybody feel anxious. How to study mathematics or how to understand this subject? I will say it is still unanswered for not only for students as well as for many teachers. Right. We all know we can do magic out of numbers, figures, formulas. But all we need to do is to understand what this subject means. It is uses or vast. It does not apply only to mathematician. I will say it applies to any field. It can be engineering, marine engineering or any engineering. Or even I will say for even for doctors, medical practitioners or any IT field professionals or any other field. Now, let us see the usefulness of mathematics in the universe. Famous physicist Paul Dirac says that God used beautiful mathematics in creating the universe. It has been believed, it is a very uh, strong belief that God was wonderfully used numbers, geometry and alignments in creating the universe. I will say the shapes of planet, earth, the number of rings on the planet, Saturn, the percentage of element water on earth and the distance between sun and earth shows the usefulness of max in this universe. Okay, let us deal with max around us. We all know max is the subject that seems intimidating at first glance. But once you get into it, that is the interest should be cultivated. It is becoming much easier. 
Maths is everywhere around us, from simple addition to complex calculus, it may be differentiation or integration. Mathematics plays an important role in our daily life. Right. Now, how to make this subject interesting? To make the subject interesting, there must be an introduction of new teaching methods, making the topic understood by models, charts, showing practically where formula is used in real life, like the Pythagorean theorem, or I will say pi diagram, pi chart, or whatever may be. And I will say, even an illiterate, like a carpenter or electrician or whoever may be, to verify that they have right angles in their work, they have the proof of each formula should be taught. I will say the for formula is there, we should not inform the students to by heart the formula rather than understand the concept or how you derive the formula, how that formula came. Once they do that, there will not be any silly mistake in writing the formula. So the following diagram, which has been slow, shown in the slide, will give you a real example. Then, max in real life, the operations and formulas which we use in solving mathematical problems must be applied in real life to solve any complicated situation which we will face not only in our career but also in our family situation. The heavy books of Max may contain a lot of problems like what we face in our life. But both need specific operations on formulas to solve the problem which we face in our real life also. And uh, Max riddles, many would have heard about it, they are fun and challenging puzzles which require logical thinking in solving that. Few riddles can be shown in the slide, which I will come to it later in the next slide. For example, take any three digit number with any similar digits like 111 or 222 from 1 to 9, any three digit number with repetition of the same digit. If you divide by the digit by adding it, say for example, 111 by 1 plus 1 plus 1, or 222 two, two by 2 plus 2 plus 2, you will get the same value 37. Like this, there are several examples to show the beauty of mathematics. Next, let us come to the riddles. In this, I have been given some five riddles, which I will say I am not going to explain to you right now. Let me see how many of you can understand the riddles and answer me by posting your comments so that once I receive it, I will feel happy that something has been born into your minds. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks once again.